So I have my System Center Operations Manager 2007 R2 console opened and I've already deployed agents to six machines on the network and as you can see from the dashboard they're all in a healthy state. However, I'm using the default configuration for the monitors that are available in the management packs that I've downloaded. Now suppose I want to tweak some of the settings such that I want to get alerts from specific computers when a specific threshold is reached. For example, if I take a look at performance monitor, I am seeing that the amount of available memory on the computer called CE is just about under 80 megs, which may be too low for this application. However, the amount of available memory on servers OWA and the server called server is at a sufficient amount over 200. It is simple to create a report like this using Perfmon. If I wanted to add another machine to the list, I can go to Perfmon and under the graph option, I can right click add counters and add counters for a specific computer. Let's say I want to view the available memory for XP1. I type in XP1, change the performance object to memory, and add the available megabyte counter. I'm going to click on add and view back our report. So we should see XP1 being added, and XP1 has sufficient amount of RAM. However, remember if we look at the dashboard on System Center Operations Manager, we are seeing that everything is in a healthy state. Now suppose for that particular computer called CE, I want to issue alerts whenever the amount of RAM drops below 100. Let's take a look at the current settings for the available amount of memory monitor in System Center Operations Manager. If I right click the computer CE and I go to open Health Explorer, I'm going to see the status for the various monitors that we have enabled. Under the performance section, if I go to operating system performance, I'm going to see the available megabytes of memory monitor. I can right click on it and then go to monitor properties and we can view the current settings for this monitor. Now what, what I would like to do is to override this setting, this default setting, specifically for the computer called CE, such that if the available RAM drops below 100 megabytes, I want to be issued an alert in SCOM. So to do that, I go to the overrides button to override the default value. Then I'm going to click to on override and I'm going to override for a specific object of type Windows Operating System. And I'm going to select the computer called CE and press OK. Now I'm going to change the value, the default value for the available memory threshold. So I'm going to checkbox on override the available memory threshold value in megabytes and change it from the default value of giving warnings on 2.5 megabytes to providing warnings at below 100 megabyte and then then I'm going to click apply and watch what happens to the de effective value when I click on apply the effective value is going to change to 100 megabytes as you see here now I'm going to press OK and we can view the summary again we can click on view summary for the monitor and we are seeing the list of computers that are not currently inheriting. So I have already created a monitor for the computer called server and I've just created a monitor for the computer called CE such that when it drops to 100 CE will be listed as a critical condition and when the available RAM for the computer called server drops below 200, 
the SCOM console will show the computer called server in a critical state. So now I'm going to press OK and press OK and wait for a few minutes for the dashboard to refresh and pick up the new values. If I go back to my Perfmon chart, I am seeing CE being low at 74. So since this is less than 100, I should get an alert in SCOM that the computer called CE is in a critical state. So after a couple minutes, we see CE is now in a critical state. If I right click and go back to Health Explorer mode for CE, I am now seeing the monitor that is in a critical state and it is the available megabytes of memory monitor that we just configured and if I go to state changes we will see that the error occurred just a few minutes ago where it changed from healthy state to a critical state and it shows us the value at that point which is 79 which is just about the value that we have here in Perfmon. Now let's take a look at creating your own custom monitors. To do that we go to the authoring tab in the System Center Operations Manager console. Let's say for example that a machine called OWA is running IIS and I would like to monitor whenever the web service on that computer stops. To do that I'm going to create a custom web service monitor. So I'm going to click on monitors click on actions and then I'm going to select create a monitor. I'm going to create a unit monitor and this unit monitor is going to be of type Windows service and it's going to be a basic Windows service monitor. I'm going to go next and it's usually best practice to create your new monitors in a separate management pack but for now I'm going to leave it in the default management pack and I'm going to go next and I'm going to call this monitor web service and then I'm going to select the target that where this monitor will apply and I would like this to apply to all Windows computers or specifically all Windows servers so I'm going to click all Windows servers target and then I'm going to press OK and this is going to be under the availability monitor section so we're going to leave it as it is then I'm going to select the service name I'm going to browse to the computer the computer called OWA and select the service name the web service so here we have the state conditions and the computer will be listed in a critical state whenever this particular service is not running and I'm going to generate alerts for this monitor and I'm going to give the alert a description And finally, I'm going to click on create to create our new custom monitor. So now that we have created that monitor, that monitor will apply to all Windows objects, whereby the IIS service, whenever it is stopped, we will get an alert. So if we go back to the dashboard and select any computer, and we go to the Health Explorer mode, we should see that new custom monitor here and here it is the monitor www service 